Sprung is in the newsroom with the latest. Eric. Well, good morning. Protesters at Northwestern and University Leadership announced their agreement late last night, which includes more transparency in the university's investments. Meanwhile, students and faculty at the University of Chicago say they're staying put until they see changes at their school. We believe that by doing this, we're pushing our campus and, and uh, you know, the world at large just a little bit towards a, a more just and peaceful world. Protests like the one at the University of Chicago have been popping up on college campuses across the country. Protesters demanding their university's divestment from Israel while calling for an end to the war in Gaza. We are fed up by our university and by elite higher education um, for continuing to enable and fund this genocide. And we are done standing for it. So we are setting up an encampment and we will stay here until the university divests every single dollar. Both the university's president and dean of students releasing statements yesterday on the matter, each highlighting the importance of free expression, but adding disruption to the functioning and safety of the university would not be tolerated. The dean specifically mentioning the campsite, saying it was done without prior approval and a, quote, violation of university policy and will result in disciplinary action, adding the situation will be monitored closely. We've seen protests like these work in the case of anti-apartheid activism in the 80s and uh, civil rights activism in the 60s. It has worked to some degree at Northwestern University. Last week, students and faculty there set up an encampment that led to some tense moments between demonstrators and police. Late last night, protesters and the university negotiated an end to the encampment. In return, the university is promising to open up engagement with the investment committee at the university and not only answer questions about investments, but also reestablish an advisory committee on investment responsibility, which will include students, faculty, and staff. The university will continue to allow demonstrations on campus, but without any amplified speakers or tents. The Jewish United Fund issued a statement last night saying an overwhelming majority of Northwestern's Jewish students, faculty, and staff feel betrayed. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Eric Runk, WGN News.